Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. At the Duke of Sussex pub in Peckham, South London, locals sipped lager in the sunshine at the start of a long weekend. The extra day off Monday wasn't planned, established to mark Queen Elizabeth's funeral, and neither was the apparent family reunion unfolding before the cameras. Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan's temporary return to Britain, has drawn chatter in pubs like this one across the country. You can see he appreciates his family, said Wendell McCalla, after viewing pictures of Harry, the Duke of Sussex, joining other royals in remembrance ceremonies for the Queen. The family, drawn together in grief, finds itself again under the microscope over its past handling of the couple, as new questions arise about how Harry and Meghan will be treated under a new king. I'm all for Harry and Meghan, said Amy Bredon, a primary school teacher sitting on the street side patio. But throughout the UK, a vocal segment of society remains adamant the couple has disrespected the institution. To them, Harry and Meghan are no longer welcome here. I'm not quite sure why they came back, to be honest, said Joe Fitters, a construction worker. I think they should have stayed there, referring to the couple's California home. Harry's participation on Saturday in a guard of honor by the Queen's grandchildren was the latest in a series of prominent roles for him following Elizabeth's passing. He and his wife have almost never been seen in public with other members of the family since they quit royal duties in 2020 and moved to the U.S. Royal watchers are left wondering whether the current rapprochement will be for good or whether it's all for show. Katie Nicholl, Vanity Fair's royal editor, told CBC News it has yet to be seen whether the apparent thaw in relations signaled what I think everyone has been hoping for a long-lasting and genuine reconnection between Harry and his family. Last weekend, Harry and Meghan made a surprise public appearance side by side with Harry's brother, Prince William, and his wife, Kate. The group once known as the Fab Four viewed floral tributes to the Queen in Windsor and thanked crowds lining the street. In many ways, Harry and Meghan are actually what the royal family needs to move beyond this rather staid image that it risks having more with Charles, she said. They really need to show more inclusivity and more dynamic thinking. So what do you think guys, please share your thoughts in the comments. Until then thanks for watching, we'll see you again with some more interesting news about royal family. Thank you.